Authority. Obedience. Take your feet, man. What makes us want to follow other people so devotedly? Some argue that obedience and authority are good and act like a social glue, holding society together. But there is a dark side to obedience. Reflecting upon the atrocities committed by the Nazis during World War II, a young Yale psychologist named Stanley Milgram wanted to know, why did so many people collaborate with Hitler and the Nazis, helping them commit one of the worst atrocities in human history? In Milgram's original experiment, he found that out of the 40 original participants, 26 of them, 65% of the group, would actually shock the subject all the way to the 450 volt level. Now, after they reached the 450 volt level, Milgram allowed them to continue to keep shocking the subject until he halted the experiment, which shows that in some people, in some cases, they will actually follow authority all the way to the lethal end. Milgram designed an experiment that included three participants. One person, who was the researcher, or authority figure, gave instructions to the teacher. The latter, who was actually the research subject, was instructed to give electric shocks to an individual, the learner, who, unbeknownst to the teacher, was actually an associate of Milgram's, if he or she answered a set of questions incorrectly. The shocks increased for each wrong answer, from a 15 volt slight shock to a more severe 420 volt severe shock. The teacher, who again was actually the research subject, was told he or she was participating in a study about learning. Now sometimes when something goes terribly wrong, we often hear people making the excuse, I was just doing my job. And how can you blame somebody when they're just doing their job? But that's the point, that's the big takeaway from Milgram's experiments. He even says this in the book that what he found was that people, ordinary people, who have absolutely no history of violence will sometimes be used instrumentally as an awful force against other people. And that's what obedience can ultimately do if we don't know who to listen to and when to listen to them. Even though Milgram's original experiments took place in the early 1960s, they're still relevant to us today. Now, many of us are not going to be working at a concentration camp or shocking anybody, but we do have authority figures in our lives, our teachers, parents, bosses, and we all do follow authority to a certain extent. So the next time that we say we were just doing our job, Milgram is always there in the background asking us, are you giving up your own sense of personal responsibility?